Hello guys, my name is 7-Eleven, and welcome to another league that I'm in. Now, actually, it's not even a league, it's a tournament hosted by a great YouTuber, Johnny GB. And so, his link's in the description, but he is hosting a Pokemon tournament that I decided to apply and I got in for. This is going to be a really exciting uh, tournament. There are like 64 players, and I'm one of them. And I'm going to show you my draft, but before I tell you the draft, I want to say, first of all, there are only 8 Pokemon in each roster instead of 11 or 12, which is a little different. Also, there's a free draft, meaning there are no tiers. It's, a, it's an open draft. And so, all of that means that all of these teams are going to be really, really overpowered, really broken. Everything's just nuts, okay? Um, another thing I want to say before I dive in any further than this is that the Battle Royale free-for-alls that have been going on weekly, or at least I'm trying to do them weekly, those are going to go off to the side because I have several battles a week now, and I have, you know, a lot of, of other stuff going on. And so I'm going to have at least two battles, two battle videos a week for you guys. And aside from that, then there's just not enough time to be doing all these uh, these battle royale free for alls. So they will be coming back in the future. I was having a blast doing them and all of that, uh, but they uh, but you'll have to to wait for a little while. So going on to the draft. First of all, I have drafted Mega Magnetric, and Mega Magnetric is interesting because um, this is fully done on Showdown, and because of all the glories of Showdown, then yes, the Magnetite is legal. Yes, the Custap Berry is legal. You know. All those items that have not been introduced yet are now usable on Showdown. So, Mega Magnetric is the first Pokemon I, I, I drafted. A returning member of the Pokemon Battle Association Season 3 for the Pittsburgh Thunderbolts. And I decided to nickname Watson. Watson the Mega Magnetric, named after the great Mauville City gym leader, Watson. So I'm going to say, you know what, this guy, he's actually pretty predictable, but despite him being pretty predictable, um, that doesn't mean that he's going to be any easier or harder to take down. Um, Intimidate is going to come into play very frequently, because there are lots of, you know, strong physical type Pokemon out there and so uh, Watson is going to put in a lot of work I mean it hits really hard I think base 135 special attack and speed so that's pretty great Thunderbolt is going to hit everything really hard and so um, that's gonna be great so I'm gonna put Watson up in the corner over here and the next Pokemon that I picked is a Pokemon that I've never really used a whole lot of before, but I really want to use it. It's called Mimikyu, and I'm going to nickname Mimikyu Pikaspook. So Pikaspook is here, and as, as you guys know, Pikaspook can live literally any hits right off the bat because of its ability to disguise. Now, disguise does not protect Pikaspook from toxic damage or burn damage or leech seed damage or sandstorm or hail or anything of that nature but Pika Spook uh, can live any hit it's going to stop all sweeps from happening essentially um, it does not get Thunder Wave I don't think but it does get Will-O-Wisp and Toxic Pika Spook gets Sword Stance and can bop things with the super effective stab Shadow Sneak if you know if there's a ghost type or a psychic type on the field. And so Pika Spook is going to hopefully put in the work for, for the Pittsburgh Thunderbolts. 
So I'm going to put you right there. And the next Pokemon that I'm going to uh, draft is Terrakion. Terrakion, and I'm going to name you Bull Run. Bull Run Terrakion. Now, here's something interesting, guys, is that in this league, you have to designate two Pokemon to be the only ones allowed to use a Z-move. And so, Terrakion is going to be a Z-move user on my team. So there is Bull Run. As you guys know, uh, Terrakion is a fighting and rock type. Very powerful offensively. Very horrible defensively with seven weaknesses. Let's see if I can name all seven weaknesses right now. There's going to be water, grass, ground, steel, psychic, fairy, and fighting. There you go. Seven weaknesses. Um, that is like tied for, for most number of weaknesses, I think. So anyway, uh, Z-Move, it can hit you know, really, really strong already, and slap a Z-move on it, I can just nuke something. So that's Bull Run for you guys. And the next Pokemon that I have in this lineup is Buzzwall. And I'm going to name you Flex. Flex the Buzzwall. And uh, so this guy is very, very strong offensively. Very, very strong physically, defensively. Um, it is a grass fighting type, so now I have two fighting types. But uh, with that beast boost, Flex can be exceedingly, exceedingly powerful. Um, that That is going to really hurt a lot of people. It gets um, a couple punches. I think it gets Thunder Punch and Ice Punch, I believe. I know it gets Power Up Punch. It gets superpower. It does not get close combat, interestingly enough. It gets leech life and lunge, so that's pretty interesting. You never know what's going to happen. It gets earthquake. Um, and of course, with beast boost, it will probably be boosting its attack every turn. And that could lead to a potential sweep. Unfortunately, Flex is at base 79 speed, so not quite sweeping potential. Not even close to sweeping potential, actually. But, hey, for all those lower Pokemon out there, Flex is just a monster. Absolute monster. And so, that's half of my roster right there. And so next, I'm going to introduce Magnezone and Tesla. So, interestingly enough, Magnezone is also in my Pokemon Battle Association draft he's uh tesla is on that roster as well um of course tesla can put in a lot of work i do have two electric types now maybe i just like electric types but whatever uh it's okay magazine welcome to the squad buddy i know that you can put in a lot of work tesla is uh, of course does have sturdy and it has analytic magnet pool so that can put in a lot of work. Next is a Pokemon that I chose to be one of the... Um, next is a Pokemon that I chose to be one of my Z-Move users. And it is Swimmersby, the Azumarill. Now Azumarill, uh, with a huge power and like a Z-Move play rough, that's going to really hurt anything. Uh, Swimmer's B, of course, as you know, gets Play Rough, gets Aqua Jet, it gets uh, Belly Drum, Waterfall, it gets Knock Off, so that's going to be huge. Uh, so huge, it's even huge power. And as a matter of fact, it also gets um, Sap Zipper, and so that is a pretty good uh, ability right there and there are only two Pokemon left in this draft of mine and one of them is Snorlax that I'm nicknaming Fat Chester I had a lot of fun using Snorlax in the PBA season 4 and so I intend on using Snorlax again 
I don't have a lot of bulk on this team as of right now, so I am going to use Fat Chester to the best of my ability. Um, you know, if something comes in and I don't have a good switch, then I can just, you know, prep for Fat Chester to be that switch that I need. And last but not least, where are you? I have a Pokemon that um, is also in the PBA with me, and that would be Ditto. Xerox the Ditto is also in the in this tournament that I'm in. Um, so this tournament is called the Brawl for All, and this Brawl for All is going to be really exciting. Um, interestingly, with this tournament, I have to fit in three battles a week. So not only do I have to plan and prep, but I also have to battle three opponents every week. And the top two will move on. So hopefully I can get this team to pull out an, a lot of W's because each win is going to be very, very crucial. If I just have like an off week, then I can just be out of the tournament then and there. So each battle is going to be very, very important. So there's uh, Watson, the Mega Manetric, Pika Spook, the Mimikyu, Bull Run, the Terrakion, Flex, the um, Buzzwolf, Tesla, the Magnezone, Fat Chest, the Snorlax. Xerox, the Ditto, and Swimmers be the Azumarill. So let me know guys what you think about this draft. Let me know what, what you think about my roster. And if you guys are hyped, if you guys are excited, if you are pumped, if you cannot wait for more battles in this Brawl for All, then like this video, comment on this video, share it with your friends, and click subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, I will see you all later. Peace.